Good day, my name is Dr. David Evans, and I'm the founder of Vector Vision. And I've personally been involved in contrast sensitivity testing for more than 30 years. And I personally designed many of the contrast sensitivity tests that are used around the world in eye clinics, as well as in more than 50 FDA clinical trials. The purpose of this video is to talk about the different types of contrast tests, how they differ, and the pros and cons of each. And hopefully, at the end of the video, you will understand the best methods for testing contrast sensitivity. Basically, there are three types of contrast tests. Low contrast acuity, letter contrast sensitivity, and grading contrast sensitivity. Unfortunately, there is some confusion in the market, and many people refer to all three of these tests as contrast sensitivity. Technically, only the low contrast threshold grading test is contrast sensitivity, and this has been recognized by the FDA for clinical trials and we will talk more about the FDA at the end of this video. Let's start first with low contrast acuity. Low contrast acuity requires patients to identify letters when presented at lower contrast level. Unfortunately, there are many limitations to this type of test. The first of which is that the test requires patients to identify letters. Okay, so what about identification? Well, the most sensitive type of test is for a patient to detect an image, not have to identify it. Just think how much less sensitive visual field testing would be if a patient had to identify an image in the periphery as opposed to just detect it. And what about an auditory test? The hearing doctor asked the patient when they could first detect the tone, not have to identify it. And the sensation of touch. The patient is asked to identify when they can first feel whatever's touching their skin, not identify what it is that's touching their skin. So for low contrast acuity, the requirement of the patient to have to identify the letters greatly reduces the ability of the test to be able to quantify vision and detect disease. Another limitation of low contrast acuity is that it provides only one number to describe vision. And as we know, the visual system spans a range of contrast levels under varying conditions, and only one number is not enough to describe this full range. And finally, low contrast acuity provides an outcome metric of an acuity score the best way to measure vision is through a contrast test that measures contrast levels and provides a contrast score. The second type of test is called letter contrast sensitivity, and this type of test presents the same size letter and different groups of the letters are presented at different contrast levels. During the test, the patient is asked to read across the rows of the test as the contrast of the letters fall, and the patient is asked to identify the letters. Another limitation of this test is that it uses only one letter size. And using only one letter is not enough to span the full range of vision. For example, larger letters are better for testing patients, for example, low vision patients that have poor acuity, whereas patients that have better acuity and different eye conditions, a smaller letter may be used. Unfortunately, it is never clear up front which letter size is better, so it's trial and error. The third type of test is the most sensitive type of test this is called contrast sensitivity with low contrast gratings. In this test, the patient is presented a range of grading sizes over a range of contrast levels, and the patient is asked at one contrast level they can just detect the gratings. This test has many differences from the other two types of tests. First, the test uses a detection task where the patient is first asked when they can detect a grating as opposed to have to identify a letter. As we said earlier, Detection tasks are much more sensitive than identification tasks. Second, this type of test measures patients using a wide range of bar sizes and a wide range of contrast levels, which allows testing across the full range of vision. This in turn allows us to measure a full range of patients under a variety of conditions. Of course, there are many opinions about which type of contrast test is best. Some would suggest that identification is a better measure because it increases the reliability of the test. On the other hand, increasing reliability at the expense of sensitivity did not necessarily make the test better. A highly reliable test that cannot detect subtle differences in vision has little value. And the research bears this out. The vector vision testing technology has sufficient reliability and sensitivity to detect vision changes over a wide range of conditions. These include detecting early disease, quantifying corneal irregularities, documenting cataracts, tracking treatment, and many others. 
and the FDA agrees that the grading contrast sensitivity test is the best type of test. About 20 years ago, the FDA evaluated these three tests, low contrast acuity, letter contrast sensitivity, and grading contrast sensitivity to determine which type of test should be used in clinical trials to evaluate new technologies such as LASIK, corneal inlays, IOLs and such for approval by the FDA. The FDA determined that the grading type of test was the best test and now requires testing across four different bar size patterns under a range of contrast levels for clinical trials. Vector vision testing technology has been adopted for use in more than 50 FDA clinical trials and has numerous published papers documenting the sensitivity and the accuracy of the test. Further, Vector Vision is the only company that has published age bracketed population norms for contrast sensitivity testing. Of course, Vector Vision offers all three types of tests low contrast acuity, letter contrast sensitivity, and grading contrast sensitivity, all of which are presented in a standardized lighting format unique to Vector Vision patented technology. If you'd like to learn more about these tests or receive copies of our published research, please contact us.